to rear fill or not to rear fill? Try saying that five times fast. <laughs> to rear fill or not to rear fill in an SQ build? That is the question and I have the answer. What's up everybody and welcome back to I Still Love Car Audio and Car Audio Tech Stuff. Today, I'm gonna talk about rear fill. In a lot of builds, especially SQ, rear fill is considered taboo. I like rear fill. I've done, I haven't done any SQ competitions. If you follow my page, you know that. I've been to some shows and just about every car, not every, but just about every car is front stage only and sub in the rear time aligned. So it sounds like the sub is up front, but no rear fill. When I got out of SPL DB drag in 2002, was it something like that? When I got out of it, I built a SQ build with uh, diamond audio speakers. It was just for personal pre uh, personal usage. I didn't compete SQ, but I wanted a good sounding system. And at least as far as I know, at that time, rear fill wasn't taboo, uh, but it was done properly to where the rear fill was just that. It just rear, it just filled in the rear. It brought it up a little bit, but it didn't overpower the sub and it didn't overtake the front stage. I have a three-way front stage in my car, but I do have rear fill. It's powered off my head unit and my head unit is faded forward to lower the output, lower the volume output of my rear speakers back there. But some people say it's not good. Some people say it's taboo. You only need a front stage, especially if you're doing a three-way front stage. You don't need the uh, rear fill because it can take away from it. But I beg to differ. I'm going to give you guys a quick demo and see if you guys can tell. And I'm also going to let you hear the rear speakers um, off my head unit with this uh, recorder that I use and let you guys I'm going to sit in the back seat, actually, and let you guys see if you can tell if it takes away from the front stage or not. Anything like that. See if you like it. See if you don't. Let's give it a shot. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and play some uh, YouTube DRM free, um, free copyright, copy written free music. And uh, it's, it's recorded pretty good, you know, and I'm going to go ahead and turn it up. Going to do a quick demo in the front and then I'm going to move to the back seat, play the exact same song, same volume, same settings. See if you guys can tell a difference. See if you guys can hear the rear fill. Some of you may not even know that I did have rear fill because it doesn't take away from the front. But still, I want you guys to see what it sounds like in the back seat, because that's the reason why I have rear fill in the first place. I really can't hear it. But on the rare occasion when I do have passengers in my car, I want them to be able to hear something in the back there as well, not just the front stage, even though you can hear the front stage in the back. I just wanted to fill it in back there for them. I mean, rear fill, right? All right. So here we go. I have the microphone right here by my face, but I didn't want to block my handsome face. You know what I mean? But uh, anyway, um, I did put it like here and down here just to give an idea. I mean, lifting the mic here and having it here is not going to change how you receive the front stage. But I wanted to keep it out of frame. And also, this is where my ear is and all that. So the microphone should pick up the rear doors if it was able to pick up the rear doors, which I don't think it can. Uh, like I said, I can't hear it sitting here, but I'm gonna go ahead and move to the back seat now and play the exact same song, same volume on all that. Sitting in the back seat, I'm gonna sit on the, be, uh, I'm gonna sit on the left side behind the driver's seat in the middle and the right side, see if it makes a difference. It may, may not, but stay tuned. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, I'm gonna put the speaker, the recorder, down by the speakers actually. It sounded pretty good. I don't sit in the back seat often. I mean, why would I? You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but yeah, that actually sounded pretty good. I don't know if you guys were able to hear it. I will know when I do the editing for this recording. But uh, initially, I mean, I can hear the back speakers sitting back there. They're not overpowering. They're not taken away from the front stage. Your attention is definitely pulled forward as it should be. Um, the way my system is set up, the balance from back, front to rear and all that. So it worked out pretty good. What do you have in your cars? Are your cars set up with rear fill or is it a pure SQ build? Um, I know some people say if you have a three-way front stage, you definitely shouldn't have a rear fill, but I've seen full SQ builds with three-way front stages, five-way or six-way front stages with two-way rear fills. I'm just using coaxials back there, but or coaxials back there, but I've seen people use uh, actual components in the rear and run them off uh, amplifier instead of head unit power because I'm just doing mine as rear fill and rear fill only I don't think I need more power than what the head unit provides and it's a good balance for me but anyway what type of system do you have how is your system set up do you have rear fill and if so is it faded forward like mine to cut the power from the rear speakers or is it just as loud as the front just giving you a full 360 type of surround sound system let me know in the comments and uh, like, subscribe, share this channel with those you know that are new to car audio or still in the car audio. Experts, amateurs, novice, doesn't matter. I love to chat about it. Learn something new. Share something new. Till next time, stay tuned.